We're mostly worried about her her arm, her wrist, her lower arm has a bump on it. We have ice on it right now, so we're just kind of keeping it covered, trying to keep her comfortable, um, but yeah, we need to get her to a clinic as fast as possible. You guys, we are so far but away from everywhere. We drove two hours to get here, um, okay. but it looks Sounds like good. we may have found a clinic maybe that's 27 minutes away. We're up on the top of, vol of a volcano, <laughs> so there's not a lot of help that we can do. We've given her some ibuprofen. She has a skinned up knee and in hand, but we're mostly worried about her her arm. Her wrist, her lower arm has a bump on it. We have ice on it right now, so we're just kind of keeping it covered, trying to keep her comfortable, um, but yeah, we agree. need to get her to a clinic as fast as possible. So, someone said that we should, the last person who gets to the car will, um, will, will, will leave, and so we just started running, and then we were running and then Jordan was in the back and then all I felt, I was like uh, ahead and I felt, felt was Jordan trying to grab onto me. Like I didn't know what was happening. I thought she was, she was just trying to push me out of the way, but like, like because. She was trying, she was falling. But I didn't know she was falling. And you falling. fell on she that, fell you fell on top of that arm. Then. She didn't get a hold on to and me And it's, it's not the person that said the last tort thing to do that. Are you okay? I, I Let was, me see. Was, your knee is bleeding. I was starting to Let run. me see your knee a little bit. That one, Look, that one. Okay, I'm gonna broke. get you something for you it. Okay. She broke her arm. Mom. I don't know, Peyton. It's okay, everybody. Okay, it's okay. Okay, girls, let's try to be really, really brave. Okay, for yeah. Jordan. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that works. You're okay. <laughs> Everyone's okay. All right. <laughs> all right it's almost 6:30. And this clinic is open all night long. All right, we've made it to the hospital. Let me see it. So you see, yeah, there's a there's a bump on there. <laughs> Only one person can go in, so Dad's gonna go in with you, okay? But he can't He's go gonna... in the bathroom with me. And yes, he can. He can help you. Gonna break the, to He's... the toilet paper. He can help you, okay? It's okay. You're okay. You're so brave. You're so brave. Remember? We're thinking about the positive things, right? Let me that arm real quick. The knee's getting better. You got kind of scraped up, babe. You're okay. Alright? Okay. You ready to get your x ray? Gonna see what we can figure out, huh? Just hold real still for me, okay? All right, so right now, they only let one person in. Um, I let Steve do that. He does better with those types of things than I do. I, I don't do well with that stuff at all. Um, so we're just waiting. We have some upset kids, and Peyton, you know that she's gonna be okay, right? I was telling Peyton that she's cried more than Jordan has. Jordan's doing really good and being really brave, okay? You doing okay? I said I want to break my arm instead of oh. I don't want Jordan to get hurt. Nobody yeah. wants Jordan to be hurt, right? No one wants her to be hurt, but I think yeah, she's going to be okay. I right? want to break my arm instead of Jordan. We just left the x-ray. She did so good. And if you guys can look really closely on the video I showed you, it looks like there might be a crack in there, but I don't know. I'm not a doctor. We're about to find out, huh? Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. She gets a little chilly if she doesn't have this nice warm blanket on, but she's doing really good, being super brave. I'm super proud of you. We just had the doctor come in, huh? Mm -hmm. and he seemed really mean. No. <laughs> just kidding. He was super nice. He was checking out all of Jordan's problems, huh? Because mm -hmm. she has the wrist, but she also a nasty little cut on me. Yeah. Is that hurting too? No. Not like the it, wrist? Yeah, it was hurting a little bit, a little, but no, it's fine. So now they are gonna tell us here soon what the result is. And I think, my bet is fracture, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's a fracture too. But we don't know, because again, we're not doctors. Mm -hmm. We're YouTubers. <laughs> All right, so. 
What is it? I got a fracture. She got a fracture. So what does that mean? It means they have to wear a short arm patch and then a sling. Oh, this is the one. Get your splint on. <laughs> How does that feel? Feels great. Feels good? Yeah. Okay, that's your new buddy. But right now you have a splint, huh? Yep. So the doctor came in, put a splint on for her, and she needs to get back in a few days and get a cast on. Mm -hmm. And then I think I might have to have a sling with this. Oh, maybe not though. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. All right, guys, so Steve just texted and said that he's going to be coming out in a minute and that Jordan's doing a lot better. So we're getting happy. We're excited. Jordan wants to come out and tell us the results of what happened. So we don't know at all what they said. I just so, want to see her. I know. Peyton's just excited to go see her. So <laughs> we're going to wait. The doors will open maybe soon and hopefully Jordan will come out and we can see how she is. If she comes out, you can't like be too rough because her I'm gonna handmade. Run. I know you can run to her, but you can't like grab her, right? I won't. Okay. All right. I'll just jump in front of her. Jump in front of her. Is she? That's the, that's the plan. <laughs> all right. So she said, Steve says that she's that. feeling a lot better. So all smiles now. I can't huh? wait to see her. You can't wait to see her? <laughs> We're all smiles now, okay? All right. So everyone's really nice and helpful here. Yeah, what were you saying? This is so Golden. She's excited. She wants to have people sign her cast, but she just isn't a cast yet. Yeah, and once I get my cast at home, I'm going to have them sign that. But they said she has to be super careful not to fall on it, because if she does, can. it'll break all the way. It'll break. Like, I won't be able to do it. And she'll need surgery. But she's doing a lot better than she was in the car, don't you guys think? Yep. I'm great. Now it's time to reveal to mom. Wait, I want to show her that. Yeah, we're gonna tell her in person. We have Jordan's welcoming crew waiting for her to come out of those doors. As we're sitting waiting for Jordan to come out, this picture came up on my Facebook because oh, it's close to Jordan's birthday. And that's Jordan. Look at that, 20 years ago, this picture, the Peyton holding Jordan. They were best friends from that day and have continued to be best friends. It's Jordan, it's Jordan! It's Jordan! <laughs> It's Jordan! Jordan! Hold on, hold on. She's back. What in the world? What? I fractured my arm. You did? Yeah. So we have to um, wear this for a few days and when we get back home, sometime we have to um, get a real cast that, that is a half. Okay, thing, so you have to go get a real cast. You want a real yeah. cast? No, yeah. I fractured it, but you can just say that I broke it. What is that? What is that? <laughs> it means I have a crack in my arm. She broke How do you feel? I feel great, actually. You, you do? You feel yeah. great? Yeah, I feel great. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you're all good? She said, she said she feels great. She what feels you? really good. They said just keep giving her ibuprofen and okay. keep this on. And all punch right. her right. No. You said you said right? She's not allowed to run. Okay. She's not allowed to jump. I can't do anything that will happen if I fall. Because if she falls on it, it will break all the way through. She'll need surgery. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so we're going to be very, very, very careful. Oh, no, jump, no, 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 yes, we should definitely do jump. Yeah, let's do it right now. No, no way. All right. So, that would probably trip so you're good? No shot? No shot. Oh, that's no. good. Uh, so I got it. No, we didn't. You did? You took forever. Peyton's been pacing the, <laughs> the parking lot. Only, it has only been an hour. If we did this at home, it I still would have been in there. Yeah. We'd be at the exit. Well, right Peyton's now. been pacing for a while now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, that's awesome, I guess. Cool. No, it's I named, she broke our street with what? no broken bones. I named, I named this Buddy. Buddy? Okay. Yes. There's Buddy. Guess what, Jordan? You are the first person in the Jaeger family to break a bone. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> no more She's tougher than you. No. Jordan, you also were the first person to get stitches. I was. I so was. what I is was. this streak going this is on right now? I'm problem. the special person in the family. All right, so that was super eventful, Jordan. What a way to uh, kick wow. off the evening. Well, uh, we were joking that, Jordan, now you can say that you were running away from an active volcano and That's broke your arm. It's all true. Yep. It is true. You were running down an active volcano and broke your arm. Yes. 
Okay, so if anyone ever says, wait, wait, wait. what's one thing that's unique about you? You she can was say, away I was running volcano. away from an active volcano and broke my arm. Ha, hello. There you go. That's me. <laughs> Good morning, guys. We are back and all smiles, right, Jordan? Yep. How are you feeling? Great. Great. She's just been taking some ibuprofen, so that's good. Um, we found out that she fractured the big bone in her arm. Oh, and I have a picture of it. All right, guys, there's her arm, and I don't know if you can see that crack. It's like a Y-shaped right crack yeah. right there on her arm. So it's probably kind of on this side, right, right there yeah. on that side of her arm. All right, guys, so we did say this last night. Jordan was literally running down an active volcano running from an active volcano when she broke her arm and that's the story we're sticking with it yeah right we went to visit a volcano here on the big island of hawaii and it is still active so when you go up to the top which it was freezing cold right her so her hands and everything were freezing cold and she had a towel wrapped around her because it was so cold so we went up to the top of the volcano and look down and you could see little bits and pieces of lava there, right? And then you were super high up so it looked small, but if you went down, it's like... Yeah, so there were so big, weird. big red lava marks and usually you can see a lot more. So this time it wasn't as active, but it's the first time, like the only time in our lives that we're ever gonna see real life lava. Like, that's pretty cool. And so we were seeing that and then Jordan decided to race down the volcano. It was paved paved roadways or paved walkways or whatever, but she ran down it and I your know. your towel got loose a little bit. Yeah, she and then tripped on the towel and supermaned down the asphalt. I literally slid, I went shoot. Yeah, so she was sliding, but she also was putting most of the pressure on her left hand and arm. And you fell on your arm, kind yeah, of? Yeah, I fell on it and then started sliding and then my knee, Yep, yeah, so her knee is scraped up a little bit, but that's not that bad. Um, we have some bandages for it, but I don't even know if you're gonna need a band-aid. We got it all kind of um, cleaned out this morning, and she has a few scrapes on her arms and hands and different parts of her body from her sliding down the asphalt, but the worst part was she kind of landed on her arm, and when she had fallen, she was screaming loudly, right? Yeah. Was she screaming loudly? Yeah, she's like, I can't feel my arm, I can't feel my arm. So she was screaming, I can't feel my hand. I can't feel my hand. And I thought, well, it's cold outside. You just scraped it up and it's probably like tingling and like numb feeling. Um, and she, but she just kept screaming, I can't feel my hand. Steve went up to her and we were kind of far from the car. So he's like, I'm gonna have to like Superman carry you, a fireman carry you. So he picked her up and was carrying her and her hand was kind of like dangling down. And her her knee was bleeding and stuff, but she was yelling, she was still crying, like saying, I can't feel my fingers. And I'm like, can you move your fingers? And she's like, no! And they didn't move, they just kind of laid there. Um, and it wasn't until we got to the car and set her down and kind of looked at her hand that we saw like the massive bump. It was like a... Yeah, it kind of like, yeah, it didn't look like a normal arm. Yeah, right? like it, compared to this arm, it was like a big bump. It was, it had a big bump on it, and so that was kind of the indication to us, like, oh, she may have broken it. So, we've never had a broken bone in our family. I haven't broken a bone, Steve hasn't broken a bone, and none of our kids have ever broken a bone. Except Taylor broke her toe, which isn't a bone. That's but not, it is. It's, well, like, it, it doesn't count. It doesn't count as a major break. So, Jordan's the first person to actually break. A major bone. And I was the first one to get stitches. And she was the first one to get stitches. So I'm like stitches. the first person to do. No, she's accident prone, guys. She's accident prone. <laughs> Jordan there. So uh, we went in, we drove real quick to a clinic, the nearby hospital. It was a super small hospital, no one was there, which was nice. Walked in, found out that she was fractured, that her bone was fractured. And pay in was, I think, having a harder time than Jordan was, right? Yeah. 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 I was in the hospital and I was like, I'm pretty sure Payne's crying than I am. Yeah. And Payne, I was. Payne was. Payne for sure was doing a lot of the crying for you, Jordan, and herself. She did a lot of crying for everybody, right? And she was also the most excited when you came out saying that you were fine. <laughs> and who has been helping you all night and all morning get ready, get dressed? 
get your breakfast, everything that you need. Yep. Yeah, she's like her mini little servant. <laughs> so, Jordan, what an adventure. Coming to Hawaii, celebrating your birthday, breaking. seeing a volcano, and breaking your arm. <laughs> That's a big breaking adventure. Your arm, that, that is a big adventure. Um, guys, we only have a few more days here in Hawaii. Hopefully you have been enjoying our Hawaii videos and vlogs because we have been enjoying being here. Um, stay tuned for a few other videos that we're gonna be filming here in Hawaii before we go home. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and what girls? Click that bell! Give us a big thumbs up. Comment below if you have ever broken a bone and what you broke. Let's find out, guys. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye. And just to see that it's all completely trashed, that our entire house is completely ruined. It's so devastating. In today's vlog, our house gets flooded but before we get started subscribe to our channel and give us a big thumbs up all right so things have been pretty rough today um this has probably been one of the roughest days that i've had in a long time um it started this morning and has kind of continued it's just i have a headache i don't feel very good from just kind of being upset and crying a lot of the day um, Steve this morning went to um, check on our old home because we were going to have the appraiser come and appraise the house because um, we are in the final stages of selling our house and next week was going to be the closing date when we had everything finalized and um, he went to the house and he opened the door and he noticed um, that there was water um, upstairs everywhere and um, downstairs um, it had leaked completely through and our entire basement um, was flooded and destroyed um, what happened I guess is that um, the filter in our fridge cracked and broke which is a freak accident um, I haven't really heard of that happening I don't know why it happened why it had to um, happened to us but the filter cracked and um, water just was spilling out of the filter into the fridge it filled up the fridge and then it seeped out and did that all weekend we were out of town for three days and we don't really know when it happened um, even if we were in town we probably wouldn't have caught it before um, enough damage was done to ruin everything um, it had been leaking and filling up the entire upstairs and seeping down into the basement and all of the work um, that we have put into our house for so long um, to get it ready to sell is um, ruined and all for nothing and um, it's really hard. All right, so Steve went to the house earlier today um, and he filmed a little bit of what is going on there and this is the first time that we are seeing what the house looks like now. All right guys, this is what I walked into today. You can like hear the water dripping. Crazy. That's Steven's room. Just drip drop the hole on the roof. How did this water come? But, whoa, it's everything that, how, is like what? dropping down. Why did that, how did that happen? Our house flooded. You, you. That's the girl's room. Oh. Sometimes we 
when you have had a bad day, a good home cooked meal is all you need. How do you guys like your dinner? Delicious. Taylor's already done with her seconds. Steven's working on his seconds. Peyton and Jordan are enjoying it. We have a soccer tournament that's starting in a half hour, so Taylor better be ready to do her best. We have arrived at Taylor's game. She is out practicing, getting ready, and we are here to cheer her on. Mostly playing the playground. Me too. Well, some of us are here to support Taylor. Yes, you know. We are back from Taylor's soccer game. They tied two to two. They played their hearts out. Taylor did a great job. Um, we're coming back to get things gathered and then head to our house. And I need to take some medicine because my head is pounding. I have such a bad headache. All right, we're at our old house. Um, we're gonna check it out real quick just to make sure it's safe for the kids to go inside. They're gonna wait outside for a second, but Steve's gonna show some of the damages. <laughs> it's bad. This is just the outside from it leaking through the foundation of the house because it filled up so much on the inside. And that goes all the way around it into the garage or on the back, it's bad. Let's go check it out. I don't know if I'm ready for this. The bottom of this filter cracked and exploded and water came rushing out everywhere and then it filled up the entire house with water from that one fridge. This is just insane. My fingers are wet just from touching it. that is super super hard to see um we're gonna go get the kids and let them look at it and there's boss baby driving the car are you guys ready to go inside yes okay please walk carefully oh, man.
kids just went through the house. I'm sitting on the back porch because it's too loud in there. Um, but oh, um, it was hard deciding to sell this house um, that we lived in um, for almost 11 years. We this was the first house that Steve and I bought, and when we were fixing it all up and then moving things out to our new home. It was really hard for me to leave, um, but this is way harder because um, we put a lot of work um, into this home. Um, a lot of hours of fixing up the basement and, and making it our own, our own home and doing things to it. And just to see that it's all completely trash, that our entire house is completely ruined. It's so devastating. So as you guys can tell, we have had a rough day, huh guys? Yeah. The house being destroyed. Mom's happy. <laughs> so we're pretty upset. We yeah. just need to kind of relax and calm down for the evening. So we decided it's to come really grab some drinks for the kids. It's really we thought maybe we'd get some sharks in the water drinks to celebrate our flooded house. Right, Steven? Yes. I don't think you should say celebrate. I guess it's I guess it's not really a celebration when your house is completely it's ruined. Really yeah. yeah, it's not really a celebration. <laughs> guys. Were you pretty upset to see your rooms look like that? Yeah. Yeah. All that hard work is now. I <laughs> That's actually exactly how it feels. We put hours and hours and hours and hours into that basement, right, Mom? And it is not good. Who wants a treat? Me! I think it's a well deserved treat for all of us. Sharks in the water. We will take five sharks in the water drinks. I want sharks in the water. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. Everyone. I want sharks in the water. Sharks in the water. All right, so I think the sharks in the water drinks that we got has lifted everyone's spirits. They're a little hyper, but it is time for us to end our vlog, go to bed, and start tomorrow fresh. Um, we are going to get our house all cleaned up and redone, and we have some fun plans um, this last few days before school starts. <laughs> Are you crazies ready to go to bed and end our vlog? Yeah! This is the craziest one of them all. I'm crazy. I'm sleeping. Okay. One, two, three. Collapse. <laughs> Take out arms. No! Ah! Ah! Okay, so it. Ah! Where's Jamie? Where's Jamie? She, she I don't know. Gone. She's gone. I see her hair. I Today is kind of a bittersweet day. My brother is going to be leaving on a two year LDS mission to Tucson, Arizona, and he'll be leaving tomorrow. So, today and tonight is probably the last time that we're going to be able to see him before he leaves for two full years. I, um, I'm a little sad to see him go, mainly because I know how much it's going to affect um, Steven and my girls, um, but especially Steven. He has always been really close to Derek. Um, Derek was there right after Steven was born in the hospital. They're eight years apart, and they have just um, done everything together, and um, Steven loves his uncle so very much. But I am so, so excited for Derek to be able to go and um, preach the gospel um, and to serve other people for two years. It's going to be such a great experience for him and I know he's so excited and I know that he's going to do um, amazing, amazing things. So today we are just um, 
spending the day thinking about Derek and spending time with Derek and just getting excited about um, this great event that's going on in his life. I slept in a little bit this morning. I had kind of a late night and decided to sleep in. Um, the kids were up a little bit. I could hear them um, playing downstairs. And so I wasn't completely asleep, but I could hear um, magnets on my magnet board um, moving around. I could hear it. Um, and I knew that Steven was upstairs, and so I figured he was just messing around with the magnet board like he usually does, putting things on it. And um, I came out a little bit later, and I saw this message. So Derek is leaving. He, uh, he spelled Derek's name wrong. It's D-E-R-E-K, but... Um, I don't really have the heart to take it down. I'm probably going to be leaving it up as long as I can. Um, I just, I'm going to miss my brother and I know that Steven is really going to miss his uncle. Mommy is going to come to like 70 freezing up. What does that mean? Um, what does 730 mean? That's how many days when Derek's gonna be gone. So Derek's gonna be gone 730 days. So we're gonna keep a little um, reminder here of how many days he has less left. Every day we'll change the number and that will be our little family's countdown till when Derek comes back. We are at the local mall because we are going to be getting some things for the kids' uncle Derek to give to him tonight before he leaves on his mission. It's for the two kids' years. first trip ever to the mall. Well, maybe not ever <laughs> when they were babies, maybe. We though. were talking that we can't remember the last time that we went to the mall <laughs> or the kids. That's sad, but. Rich people problems. <laughs> rich people problems. So, you guys ready to go to the mall? Yeah! And find something for Derek. Yeah. I think Jordan's ready. Yeah, she looks ready. <gasps> Parker owns her very own ice cream truck. Ma'am, I would love some mint chocolate chip ice cream. Oh my. I'm, I'm on a nice dinosaur. You're on a nice dinosaur? Oh my goodness, Taylor's gonna fly her very first helicopter. How about the escalator? Our sheltered kids find entertainment going up an escalator. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it. Shift on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're doing it, babe. Look at the Steven.
We weren't able to find what we were looking for at the mall, so we came to Walmart, and Steven found something that he wants to give to Derek. CTR dog tag. It's a CTR dog tag. Why do you want to give that to Derek? I have one too, and he could probably remember me with it. Steven has one just like it, and so he wants to give that one to Derek so they can both have the same thing while he's gone. Oh, what did Jordan choose for Derek? So he can eat Swedish fish? Yep. Oh, because he can't catch any fish while he's gone? You're so cute. Yeah, so Derek won't be able to do any fishing really. He'll be too busy. And so we got him Swedish fish for him to eat fish instead. I got Derek my table when, because he's out. he's going to be helping people. Is he going to be helping people in Arizona? We got Derek in Arizona and he loves drinking these and he also is going to Arizona. We're getting ready to take our last sibling photograph for the next two years because Derek won't be in the photographs for two years. So this is our last photograph with all six of us. Okay. One, two, three, collapse. <laughs> Take out arms. No! <laughs> okay, so on Where's Jamie? Where's Jamie? Jamie? I don't know. She's gone. I see her hair. I, think I, broke I see her hair. I don't know if Jamie's gonna survive the pyramid. I landed on Jamie's arm. Oh, is she broken? Are you broken? <laughs> Is Jamie broken? <laughs> well, uh, she might be broken. I need somebody's leg. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> when Derek gets back, Stephen will be how old? Twelve. Twelve. Taylor, you'll be ten. Ten. Peyton? I'll be eight. Eight? How old will you be? Five. No. <laughs> how does she think she will be? How old will Jordan six. be? Six. Jordan will be six and a half. How old will Punk be? Years old. And Parker. Right there. Parker. When Derek gets back, Parker will be three and a half. about how Derek's like Steven's big brother because they're only eight years apart and um, Steven doesn't have a brother here with us now he has one in heaven but um, Derek's kind of like his big brother and they have done everything together for since Steven was born it seems like and so Steven's kind of losing his best friend for two years but we're, we're happy for Derek, even though we're sad, we're happy for Derek. So, um, what's one thing that you're gonna miss about, miss the most? Everything. Everything, there's not one thing that you can pick? Uh -uh. No. We are 
are so excited for Derek's new adventure and we know that he's gonna do great and have the best two years probably of his life, right? Yeah, it will be awesome. He'll, he'll like it. We're gonna miss him, but it's the best example we can set for our kids, so we're happy. Yeah, he's being a great example for Steven and for the girls. Even though it's super sad and hard, we wouldn't want Derek going anywhere else, huh? Or doing anything else. We'll have to have a lot of fun these next two years. Steven's gonna have to catch a lot of fish while Derek's gone for him. That's, um, Derek is Steven's little fishing buddy. It's okay, bud. We're gonna end our vlog. We're gonna head home and get ready for bed and spend a little bit of time together as a family. So we're gonna say goodbye and we will see you guys all tomorrow. Can you say bye? What happened? Oh my gosh. Toilet? Toilet. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, can you call dad and mom? Like, it's just all in there. It's all over there. Oh my. Yeah, What in the world? This is the worst ever. The entire wood floor is gonna be completely ruined and it came from the toilet. It's. Oh my gosh. Is it all in there too? Um, it's on that half. Gosh, dang it, what the crap? How does it just... We were over in the, in the shack filming videos because we're going to, to Hawaii soon and we came over, Steven came over to get something from the house and he called us saying that our whole basement was bloody. It's like bringing back memories of when our whole entire house flooded. It's the worst. I don't know how long it's been doing it. I don't know if my floor, my floorboards are gonna get ruined. My carpet is just the worst right now. It's like, it's seriously. Oh my gosh, it's already warping. It is everywhere. Every like section. <laughs> coming up a little bit in certain sections. You can see where it's cracking and it's bowing on the edges. Maybe we have saved the carpet. Not sure, we're having fans going all night long. Um, we're gonna probably have to put towels on the ground um, and try to get more water out of them, out of them all night long. Um, we're gonna keep the fans going. We're gonna try to go get more fans, but um, Unfortunately, we have like engineered hardwood floor and it doesn't do well with water at all. And so I think we may have to replace our wood floor, but I guess it, I guess it could have been worse. That is just all of the gross stuff that they are sucking out of the carpet. And that's the toilet. That was clogged and caused all of these problems for us. I'm trying to have a better attitude even though I don't want to. It's time for the kids to come and see what happened. Guys, I am super sick to my stomach about all of this. I have a migraine from being so upset and I just am not feeling good at all. We have um, fans running. They're gonna have to run all night and I think we're gonna have to pull all of our carpet up and the padding um, just to try to get it dry. Uh, so, we can't sleep on our bed tonight. We have to sleep in our theater because the fans are too loud and everything's so wet. It's yeah, pee water. There's pee water on our ground. It's not pee water. Yes, it's it's from the toilet. Who 
unclog the toilet. All right, so we have kids all displaced. We have, are you three sleeping in here? Yeah. Um, Taylor's room is the worst by far. My entire floor has flooded. And then these guys' laundry, or closets flooded and they have school tomorrow. And our room's soaking wet, Mom. All right, so we're getting these kids kind of settled into their beds. Um, I'm exhausted, I think um, we're gonna just call it a night and then pick back up in the morning um, and see if things improved or got worse while we slept. You can try and help mommy get in a better mood. Hmm. I'm trying. All right guys, so here's an update. I have to talk kind of loud because it is loud in our house. We have had these fans running all day, um, yesterday after the flood happened and all night long and then all day today it is evening time so these fans have been going for hours non-stop as you can see there is water damage to all of my floorboards so we're gonna have to sand them down try to repaint them or replace all of them and my wood floor is bowing in the corners and the edges we're still waiting to see if it will go down more and dry out even more and we're not sure if we're gonna have to replace some of the slats of my wood floor. And this is what we have going on. Taylor's room got the worst of the flooding. We got these fans and we ripped up the carpet and we're hoping that the air is brushing and flowing and hopefully drying out the carpet pads so we do not have to replace that. It feels pretty dry, but the pad is the hardest part to get dry and that's what we're worried about. And we have one in the girls' room and the closet. We literally have seven fans blowing right now in those bedrooms, hoping to dry out the carpet so that we don't, so that we do not have to replace all of the padding. So how am I actually feeling? I know I was super upset yesterday. The video was kind of crazy. It started off um, just with chaos. I grabbed the camera just to kind of document what had happened for insurance purposes in case we had to um, rip everything out and repair. I did not know um, how bad everything was gonna be. Um, and I'm still not 100% sure what we're gonna have to replace or if we're gonna have to use the insurance or not. So I grabbed the camera just to document and it was it was devastating to me. I, I was upset and um, it's my new house and I just was really worried. I didn't know um, if things were gonna dry out, if I was gonna have to replace all of my wood floor and it kind of brought back all of those memories from when our first house flooded. I don't know if you guys um, were, some of you guys weren't following us at that time. It was several years ago, but um, this is what happened. All right, we're at our old house. Um, we're gonna check it out real quick just to make sure it's safe for the kids to go inside. They're gonna wait outside for a second, but Steve's gonna show some of the damages. <laughs> it's bad. This is just the outside from it leaking through the foundation of the house because it filled up so much on the inside. And that goes all the way around it into the garage or on the back. It's bad. Let's go check it out. I don't know if I'm ready for this. The bottom of this filter cracked and exploded and water came rushing out everywhere and then it filled up the entire house with water from that one fridge. This is just insane. My fingers are wet just from touching it.
people that is super, super hard to see. Um, we're gonna go get the kids and let them look at it. And there's Boss Baby driving the car. Are you guys ready to go inside? Yes. Okay, please walk carefully. Oh. kids just went through the house. I'm sitting on the back porch because it's too loud in there. Um, but oh, um, it was hard deciding to sell this house um, that we lived in um, for almost 11 years. We this is the first house that Steve and I bought, and when we were fixing it all up and then moving things out to our new home. It was really hard for me to leave, um, but this is way harder because um, we put a lot of work um, into this home. Um, a lot of hours of fixing up the basement and, and making it our own, our own home and doing things to it. And just to see that it's all completely trash, that our entire house is completely ruined. It's devastating. So obviously after watching that and um, experiencing our very first house flooding like that, I was pretty upset when I came into our house and saw what happened. Steven actually was the one that went downstairs. He called us on the phone and he just said, what did you say to dad? I, so I was mid walking through like murky water and I was like, uh, Dad, I need you to come outside real quick, and I set my phone down to take off the toilet bowl so it would stop. It was just coming out of the toilet. Yeah, because like top. And got you just left down. the phone. On. And I left a, I left the phone on on the counter, and then it when I came back, it was hung up, and then. I was yeah. Like, oh. So Steve is like, uh, we have to go to the house. Something bad happened, and he didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. We ran in, and that's when I grabbed the camera, and right then filmed like walking into the water I'm that was everywhere. Too. You filmed too? Yeah, it's just like, you just stomping around to show us water, but. It was just so bad. So for now, the kids are displaced out of their rooms as we're trying to dry all of the carpet and see what we have to do from here. Did you guys like sleeping in the theater room last night? No. <laughs> I want my room back. Taylor, yours was the worst. It's getting dry, guys, but you're gonna have to sleep in the theater room one more night at least. No. All right guys, thank you for watching today's video um, and for supporting us. You know, all of our videos can't always be happy and uplifting. Sometimes um, bad things happen and sometimes, you know, um, unfortunate things happen. I am so grateful. I am beyond grateful that Steven, um, that our battery on our camera died. We were in the Sodi Shack and the battery on our camera died and we sent Steven to the house to get a battery. I'm so grateful that that happened and I'm really grateful that Steven chose to go through the basement rather than the upstairs because he ran through the basement to go upstairs and ran into water and realized what had happened and called us and he 
he stopped it uh, he got to it it's probably had been going for maybe an hour I don't know it's hard to know but we would have been in that shack filming for several more hours and I can only imagine um, what our basement would have looked like if it had been able to um, continue flooding um, for that long. And I'm just so grateful that we were able to catch it and um, we're able to repair it fairly easily and that it didn't end up being like what happened to our first house. I'm just really, really grateful. Um, thank you guys for watching our channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click that bell so that you can get notifications of when we post awesome videos like this one. Give us a big thumbs up. Comment below if you were around for that first flooding. If you were a fan of our channel and subscribed way back in 2017. Um, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Today's a big day. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe and click that bell. Guys, Uncle Derek is getting married. Uncle Derek getting married? Wait, what? Guys, we have transformed my entire basement into a wedding reception hall. Because Uncle Derek is getting married. And guys, I have a super busy day ahead of me. I am the videographer, the wedding decorator, I have to help make food um, and do a bunch of other things, so um, I need to get ready. That's better. Now the work begins. What is going on in here? Preparing for the wedding. Yeah, we're preparing. Um, uh, these two had a slumber party last night. Wait, we, we, went, we were supposed to sleep? Was that part of the... Oh no. It was our last night before Derek was a married man, okay? Steven. What? You said... You said that your best friend... Don't talk about it! Don't talk about it! Is getting married Don't talk about and it. leaving you? Don't talk about it! <laughs> uh, do you remember the last time... Don't! Mm. Derek left? And you got really, really upset. Do you remember Derek? I do. I left my parents' house and said goodbye to Derek. Everyone's a little emotional. Uh, <laughs> um, what's one thing that you're gonna miss about, miss the most? Everything. Everything, there's not one thing that you can pick. Uh -uh. <laughs> that wasn't my very best moment. Well, enjoy your last few hours together, boys, because it's coming to an end soon. So I'm a little nervous because I have to write Mr. and Mrs. on these shoes with permanent paint. I hope I don't mess up. All right guys, one set is done. Does it look okay? I was so nervous I was gonna mess up, but I think they turned out okay, so now it's just time to do Uncle Derek's shoes um, with the white paint. Uh, how does it look, guys? It's not too bad. All right, guys, you don't know this, but I'm a groomsman for Derek, and I've got a job to do. As a groomsman, it's my job to trash Derek's car for when he drives off after the wedding. I'm gonna need these, and this, and definitely these. Now I'm ready to trash the car. All right, guys, we are stressing and running around, but it is time for Uncle Derek to see Lexi. His fiance in her dress. We're doing the first look. So we're gonna go to a pretty location. I'm gonna video Derek seeing Lexi for the first time. Are you excited, nervous? Yes. Derek, whatever you do, do not look out that back window. 
Yeah. You need a blindfold. I'm not. I'm get, not it on, Derek, get it on, Derek. Get it on. Get it on, Derek. It's not. Get it on. Hey, turn. One. Turn this way. We knew those face masks would come in handy. Yeah. Derek. It's a good thing good for Good job. It. There you go. Okay. All right, Derek. We need to get you in your place. Let's go. Okay, Derek. Just walk slowly ahead. I know there's a curb. Come close, on, and Derek. I'm not going to walk. Walk slowly <laughs> ahead. Come here, I'm not holding your hand. Ah, Look like this. It's our last time. Look like this. It's our last time to get Oh, it's so sweet. Guys, the bride is behind me. <gasps> but I'm not going to let you guys see until she actually comes down the aisle. So sorry, you're going to have to wait. So uh, we forgot to mention that uh, Derek needs to climb this, you know, big hill. You ready, Derek? What? <laughs> Blindfolded. All right, so we just did the first look. Is the dress so pretty? So pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna like do like a second, just like, oh, you'll have to pause it and see if you can see it. Or you have to wait until the wedding. You don't want me to be animated? <laughs> One, two. Steven, I am so glad we got your haircut before you needed to be in this wedding. Yo, oh, look, so she's smart. giving you a back scratch. I know. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Isabel. Me with your cousin. All right, Blake. Is Uncle Derek getting married? Yeah. Really soon. We're just eating. We're gonna take some family pictures and then it's the wedding and he's gonna kiss Lexi. Oh, gross. <laughs>
wipe down. I think I feel better. It's time to cut the cake! Oh, baby. Woo! Looks like we're catching some boys. It did not blow up at all. <laughs> it was this big and it blew up. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh. I think they, they're little. What are you guys doing in her car? Nothing. Okay. Why is Jared doing all the work, Steven? I'm trying to figure out these balloons. Oh, uh, he's trying to blow up balloons. Balloons are almost ready. So my first balloon. Balloon doesn't work. We might need what? different balloons. What? Check out the car. Don't read anything on it.
guys, I cannot believe that Uncle Derek just got married. That is super crazy, but we had a lot of fun. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click that bell. And give us a big thumbs up. Bye, guys.